اهلا دكتور اهلا حياك الله You can share your screen if you want. We'll start when it's uh, 2 p.m. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon. My name is Dima Hadefi from the Future Pathways team. We're very pleased to have Dr. Mazen Sarhan with us today to talk about anesthesia as part of the Future Pathways event organized by the Medical Student Council at KSU. Dr. Mazen is a senior anesthesia resident at the University of Toronto in Canada. He's with us today to talk about anesthesia residencies in Canada. At the end, Dr. Mazen will gladly answer your, your questions. So if you have any questions throughout the talk, please leave them in the Q&A box on Zoom. Uh, whenever you're ready, doctor. Shukran, Dima. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salat, salam, rasulullah. Ashkur Future Pathways ala juhudhum al-jameela fi محاولة مساعدة إخواننا الخريجين كلية الطب على اختيار التخصص وأنا سعيد أن يكون جزء من هذه الويبنارز ابتداء من اليوم I joined the talk with Dr. Faisal and Dr. Fatma who I was really really happy everyone was able to um, talk about anesthesia in in um, in, in their own way and in, in um, a different way that I was concerned is, is going to be more of a repetition if I'm going to uh, present my talk and had someone already uh, cover uh, some of the uh, points that I have here. Uh, so, sabah uh, al-khair b-tawgeetna wa masa al-khair b-tawgeetkum wa n-gultu kanna Allah. Uh, my name is Mazen. I'm one of the uh, PGY5, uh, technically almost done, uh, anesthesia resident. I'm going to be 10 years and I'm going to be in the fellowship. So, this is the last few days of training. Um, uh, my objectives for uh, my talk today, I'm going to talk about uh, يمكن بشوية details عن uh, what is anesthesia. التخصص هذا واحد من التخصصات اللي الاكسبوجر عليه أيام ال الجامعة محدود جدا. وأنا أشوف إنه مظلوم بالمقارنة مع تخصصات الباطنة والجراحة. إنه خريجين كلية الطب ما يعرفوا أشياء كثير عن تخصص التخدير. راح أتكلم عن what make anesthesia different than other medical or surgical specialties. بعدها راح أتكلم عن التريننج في كندا و why كندا. ولما أقول why كندا مو القصد إنه أحط مقارنة ما بين um, um, training في مكان ما وقارنه uh, بكندا. Um, this is my experience. وهذا اللي أنا مريت فيه. وإذا um, راح أتكلم مع أحد uh, عن التدريب في كندا هذه النقاط اللي راح أذكرها له. Um, راح أتكلم uh, بصورة مبسطة عن الحياة اليومية المتوقعة للرزident في uh, anesthesia program. Um, and how to increase your 
chances and acceptance uh, in, in Canada if you're um, thinking about it. And then uh, we'll go over um, the questions part. أحب أبدأ بواحد من الحديث النبوي للرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم كان في نقاش بينه وبين الصحابة لما تكلموا عن موضوع إنه رفعت الأقلام وجفت الصحف كانوا يسألوا يعني نسوي شيء أجل فرد عليهم الرسول اعملوا فكل ميسر لما خلق له I look at it in 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 two different ways واحد راح تجي في السلايدات الجاية إنه أول ما بديت مرحلة التعاطي هاد نو كلو إنه راح أشتغل في كندا وسبحان الله one thing led to another وانقبلت في كندا والشيء الثاني إنه على نهاية سنوات كلية الطب وبداية الانتنشيب بعض الأحيان الواحد Um, he's he's still not sure uh, which specialty that they would like to uh, be in, which is okay. أغلب الأحيان resident may has ثقل البرنامج أو 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 he doesn't get the full exposure until he's a PGY one or a two. هذا كل وقت يمكن يقول okay أيام جيت الانترنشيب ما 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 كنت أسوي كذا ما كان مطلوب كذا. ف it's 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 okay uh, إذا بديت في مسار واكتشفت بعد فترة إنه مو المسار هذا اللي أستمر فيه that's fine غير uh, استخير uh, اعملوا فكل ميسر لما خلق له ربي راح ييسر لك الشيء اللي uh, مكتوب لك إنه uh, تكمل فيه so um, a little bit about myself so um, I, I graduated from uh, King Khalid University uh, after my uh, internship, I joined the, the uh, scholarship program, which is the program of Malik, and I came America. The plan was to go to America and do training in America. So my journey started in USA, but for uh, a lot of reasons, uh, continued um, in, in, in Canada. Uh, I'm not sure if it's clear, but what I صورتي اللي uh, هو اللوجو كابلان uh, انستيتيوشن uh, انا بديت في كابلان uh, سويت اليو اس ام ليز وبعد ما سويت اليو اس ام ليز اي جويند ريسيرش فيلوشيب بروجرام في يونيفرسيتي اوف توليدو كان مدتها سنه ويذن ذات ريسيرش فيلوشيب اي جات مور اكسبوجر تو كرونيك بين مانجمنت Uh, and I was able to have uh, publications and, 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 and um, uh, projects uh, have um, uh, been done with my name on it. في هذيك السنة اللي سويت فيها research فكرت إنه okay سويت ال USMLE which is a huge thing. ليش ما سوي ال Canadian مقارنة بال USMLE يعتبر امتحان سهل. Uh, وبالفعل سويت الكنديان اكزام و after I finished the research fellowship I applied in the states and uh, in, in Canada uh, كانت uh, application لكندا recommendation from uh, one of my friends يعني قال لي انت موجود هناك um, ليش لا قدم على كندا قدم على امريكا you never know uh, ال match results Uh, the Canadian match results uh, get published before the U.S. Uh, match results. I uh, got interviews in Canada and inter- uh, in Canada because on the way the program I will talk about it. I got interview in Canada and I got interview in America but once I knew that I got accepted in Uh, University of Toronto uh, is يعني, uh, one of the best universities in the world and at the same time it is one of the top uh, universities in the of research and publication in the field of the U.S. Uh, thought process at that time, and I went to Canada. Once I got the acceptance, 
uh, I got recruited by مدينة uh, الملك فيصل الطبية لخدمة المناطق الجنوبية عرضوا علي انه هم اللي بتعتوني لل uh, residency وبديت بعدها uh, my residency training في uh, University of Toronto uh, اغلب كلامي راح يكون من مبدا خبرتي انا في التريننج اللي في بجامعة تورونتو so always keep in mind that there is going to be some variation between universities um, على قد ما ال- 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 Royal College uh, في كندا تحاول انه uh, البرامج تكون قريبة من بعض من ناحية التنظيم على قد ما انه still uh, ممكن واحد يكون مسوي residency في uh, McMaster يكون experience حقته شوية مختلفة عن اللي راح اتكلم عنه اليوم Um, so, uh, في واحدة من التشبيهات اللي أبسطها ال 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 non anesthetist أو أو medical students اللي لسه يفكروا في تخصص التخدير I I'd like to think about anesthesia like um, زي زي الكاراتيه إنه الواحد um, يفكر فيها إنه how to get uh, skill in karate كيف انه تكون متمكن في uh, فن ال- ال- القتال اللي هو ال- الكاراتيه uh, بالمناسبه الصور اللي uh, راح اعرضها uh, the word في جوجل uh, there is a good chance some of them they might be judo or something else ف, uh, انا I, يعني ما عندي خلفيه كثيره في الكاراتيه بس انه الصور راح تخدم توصل المعلومه فاذا طلع انه واحده ولا اثنتين منها judo uh, Uh, so, how to master karate? Do you read about karate? شوف الكتب اللي اللي تكلمت عن 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 فلون القتالية وتجلس تقرأ فيها, or do you just put the the uh, uh, the اللي هو لبس الكاراتيه and you do some moves and some people might think that you know karate. Um, in fact, it, it, it doesn't need Uh, a little bit of both. يعني you need to know the, the fine um, information, the, the, the uh, background knowledge about uh, the um, uh, martial art. Uh, you need to know what moves that they have over there, uh, which one do they use at what time, and uh, why would you use this move versus that move. And then you put them together and practice. And the more that you practice, the more you get better. The more you practice with different people, the more you get better. So, um, when we talk about anesthesia, uh, so what's anesthesia? Anesthesia is um, a state of controlled temporary ro- uh, loss of sensation and awareness that's uh, used for medical purposes. Every um, um, section in this statement has its own uh, value. Um, احنا medically بطريقة طبية ننقل المريض من حالة الوعي إلى حالة اللاوعي بفعل الأدوية اللي نستخدمها وفي نفس الوقت نوفر له فترة من الزمن يكون فيها غير واعي وما يشعر بالألم في نفس الوقت بس إنه it needs to be temporary and it needs to be controlled لما نخدر مريض مثلا appendectomy مدتها ساعة uh, you don't want to get stuck with a patient that is still unaware unable to move for three or four hours والجراح مخلص له ساعة ولا له ساعتين uh, and at the same time whatever effect that you are going to induce in this patient سواء A loss of sensation or loss of awareness, you would like that to be temporary. You will be able to reverse all of these effects and bring the, bring the patient back to be uh, normal. So a lot of people think about anesthesia as, as a specialty that we get the people off to sleep and then sit down and, and read a, a newspaper. Well, and so we Sudoku. Uh, Faisal can end the slide uh, early uh, the, the, the today uh, and and كيف إنه الناس يفكروا في التخدير إنه مجال هادي وما تسوي شيء يعني okay once the patient is asleep you're done وبصراحة no يعني we need to gain a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience to be able to do 
uh, what this guy is doing, to be able to sit down and, and read a, a newspaper. Um, there's no way that I'm, I'm going to be able to uh, squeeze in five years of training and, and uh, an hour of lecture. But um, the, the types of anesthesia, what kind of anesthesia that we can offer? So we have general anesthesia, we get people off to sleep, put a breathing tube in, and then the ventilator does the breathing. Once the surgeon is, is done, we reverse our uh, medications and wake the patient up. Uh, regional anesthesia, uh, an epidural or a spinal. Um, after we inject our medication into the CSF, the spinal uh, anesthesia, um, they go numb. من الخصر وتحت ما يحسوا ما يتحركوا فمثلا الأمهات اللي يجوا for booked C-section we often provide them with spinal anesthesia a surgeon they open the belly they get the baby out they clean the baby and give it to to the mom يعني بعد ما النون يطلع نعطيه الأم والام تمسكه في الوقت اللي الجراح يقفل العمليه الجراحيه. ف المريض وقت الريجنال انستيجيا في الغالب ممكن يكون صاحي يتنفس لوحده ما يحتاج فنتليتر. وفي اللي هو الكونشس سيديشن حاله ما بين انه الواحد يكون صاحي بالكامل الى شويه لاوعي شويه بين ميديكيشن بحيث انه اذا في بروسيجر ممكن تكون مؤلمة بس انه ما راح تطول نستخدم الكونشس سيديشن ابسط مثال اللي هو الكلوز ريدكشن مع الاورثوبيديك سيرجنز والايام هذه اغلب اطباء الطوارئ يقدروا يوفروا الكونشس سيديشن بس وانس ان وايل ذي كول اس تو هيلب وذ ذا ديفيكالت بيشنت هير اند ذير سو وات ميكس ان سيجر ديفرنت وي نيد تو نو سمثينج اباوت ايفري ثينج وي نيد تو نو a lot about your patients. You need to know a lot about medicine, a lot about surgery, physiology, uh, pathophysiology. Um, let's start with the, the patient. You need to know something about your patient. So are you dealing with a pediatric patient? Are you dealing with an adult? Uh, if that adult is a female, is she pregnant? I'm pregnant. Is it an elderly patient? Um, every um, um, patient population have their own physiology, have their own um, hemodynamic requirements and hemodynamic uh, limitation. And every age group has their own uh, pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. And when we think about it, we think about it, we وفي نفس الوقت قديش راح يجلس الدواء في جسم المريض how is it gonna get metabolized and uh, where is it gonna go afterwards ف ال planning for a pediatric patient is gonna be completely different than an adult وفي الadult population pregnant versus non pregnant is gonna be different and the manager على الأدلة اللي كمان هم they have their own uh, changes so we need to know about uh, our patients we need to know something about medicine ولما اقول something it's more than something we need to know a good chunk of medicine uh, راح اتكلم uh, ببساطه اليوم uh, عن مثالين اللي هو الضغط والسكري لما يجيني مريض عنده high blood pressure uh, يهمني اعرف uh, وش المشكله في موضوع ال high blood pressure يعني uh, okay is it just a number ما هي number is it primary hypertension is it secondary to another uh, pathology over there um, what kind of treatment is he on? Is he under control? Um, a lot of the chronic illnesses have long-term uh, sequelae. For uh, chronic high blood pressure, they, they have higher risk of developing coronary artery disease, heart attacks, strokes. This information I need to know before I get any uh, person that has uh, high blood pressure under general anesthesia. Same thing with diabetes, is it type one, type two? How good of a sugar control are they on? Um, nowadays, بعض الأدوية اللي يستخدموها في علاج السكري 
they, uh, we need to know about them if, if a, per a person is coming in for an elective procedure. لازم نوقفها قبل 48 ساعة إلى إلى ثلاث أيام لأنه انتبهنا إنه if they didn't stop it, يجو بعد العملية يصير عندهم ketoacidosis or they require ICU admission. So we need to know a lot about medicine by itself. بأبسط طريقة ممكن أقولها أي uh, illness موجود في ما أتذكر كتب المدسن اللي هو هاريسون they can show up to your uh, operating room and you need you don't need to know the fine details about how to diagnose how to manage but at least to know what's the pathophysiology behind that disease and how is it going to change your anesthesia plan so let's put these together uh, uh, behind my picture اللي هو medicine plus people أو, أو, أو patient so uh, لو أجيب um, two uh, females. Uh, one of them is a 30-year-old lady that has high blood pressure and high sugar. And uh, her friend, which is a 30-year-old lady with gestational hypertension and gestational diabetes. Um, are they the same? Is the pathophysiology behind this the same? They are two different um, disease processes. In the same بالنسبة للتخدير, uh, I, I'm going to keep in mind a lot of changes with uh, the pregnant pre lady uh, versus the uh, non-pregnant uh, lady. Well, of course, we need to know uh, something about the surgical procedure that, that they're coming for. مو شغلتي بس إنه أحط المريض خدر وأجلس لا. I need to know exactly um, what kind of surgery that they're coming for and what to expect. الجراح المجرح طبيب التخدير المتمكن المفروض انه يكون قبل الجراح بخطوه او بخطوتين انه انا عارف ان الجراح راح يسوي كذا وكذا وكذا فبناء عليها اكون انا مخطط انه ابدا قبله بخطوه بخطوتين اي ايذر هيلب ذيم وذ ذير هيموداينامك مانجمنت اي هيلب ذيم وذ ذير هيموستيسيس اند ذا ريسك اوف بليدنج and um, it's, it's, it's a lot of um, um, thinking process that comes into uh, play. But in simple terms, is the for an ortho a procedure, eye in nailing? Are they coming for an appendectomy? Are they coming for a tonsillectomy? Some of the we can do with a spinal anesthesia. There is no way that I can do a spinal anesthesia for an, an, an um, um, tonsillectomy. So the, the, the surgical procedure by itself, we need to know about it. If it's a high risk bleeding, I need to have my uh, medication and the, the blood ready for the patient. And if it's high risk of developing um, air embolism, um, high risk of developing stroke. So I, I need to know exactly what kind of procedure that they're gonna be doing so I can plan with them. What's the best way to provide our anesthetic management? Ooh. أكيد يعني ما يحتاج. We need to know a lot about our medication. And when I say a lot, ما يحتاج إنه ندخل في fine details في التركيبة الكيميائية. You need to know the the category of the drug. وش يتصنف propofol? وش وش يعني إيش يتصنف الروكرونيوم? Propofol is an induction agent. What إيش المتوقع لما you give a patient propofol? The expectation is that they go to sleep. Uh, and then you would know how is it going to be metabolized, how long does it stay in the body, and if there is any contraindication. Same with rocuronium, which is the other one, the muscle relaxant. Um, how much do I need to provide the patient to achieve good uh, uh, muscle relaxation so the surgeon can be able to do their uh, surgical intervention? Uh, xylocaine or lidocaine is one of our local anesthetics. Uh, we need to know how does it work, what's the toxic dose that we need to stay away from it, and what if we reach that toxic dose by mistake? Uh, what are we going to do? Sifazolin, antibiotic, but we use it a lot in our daily We need to know uh, a little bit about um, um, drug distribution, uh, metabolism, and if there is any contraindication to use any of those medication, I should know about them so I would avoid uh, giving it to uh, my patients. So, and then we put everything together. Uh, 
يكون فكرنا في الشغلات هذه ونكون حاطين خطة إنه how am I gonna provide my anesthetic care to this patient so إذا بيجيني young adult with history of good control diabetes well controlled hypertension جاي يسوي I am nailing I can argue that طبعا when I say argue um, um, we always give the patient the option. Uh, we can offer you a spinal anesthesia, we can offer you a general anesthesia. If he said no from a spinal anesthesia, that's it. Uh, we, we stop the discussion. We don't push people to get one kind of um, anesthetic versus another unless the other one has a risk of um, compromising their own life. But in, if they're healthy, we can offer them um, um, spinal anesthesia and uh, they can do the surgery, they can be awake, they can listen to uh, music if they want, or if they wanna be sleepy-ish, we can provide them with some sedation on board until the surgery is over. Um, one thing that we all love in anesthesia, we love to see changes. Sabrana fi al-takhdeer mu tawil. Ashabana fi al-batniya, lam ijihum maridhi kun indu high blood pressure, yisrufu lo adwiya, yigulu lo ruh, istakhdimha, أسبوعين ثلاثة أسابيع ونشوفك في العيادة. إحنا إذا البلط برشر مو عاجبني I will inject my medication and my expectation is within 30 seconds إذا ما شفت الإفكت there's something wrong. For real, we, you see the changes قدام عينك التغيير يصير. مثلا إذا إذا we'll look at the, the monitor uh, the monitors uh, pictures اللي بقدمها هنا ما أخذها من جوجل. If, um, looking at this, uh, if you, this patient has a heart rate of 93, blood pressure is 106 over 71, and for their medical uh, uh, background, you know that you would prefer that their blood pressure uh, get a little bit high. You want them to have a higher uh, blood pressure. Uh, we can uh, provide them with phenylephrine. Phenylephrine we know is a, an alpha-1 um, agonist and uh, will induce uh, vaso uh, constriction, and you're going to see within 30 seconds, my expectation, most of the time, 30 seconds, one minute, I need to see the effect in front of my eye, otherwise something else is going on. Uh, you'll see the effect, the heart, the, the blood pressure goes up to 122 over 63. Well, and phenylephrine, we know it's just pure alpha agonist. Uh, it's going to, with the correction of blood pressure, you're gonna stimulate the bar receptors and you're gonna get a reflux bradycardia. So the heart rate is gonna go down from 93 to 60. Uh, well, this is one thing that, uh, second nature. Yes, I know that the blood pressure is 106 over 71. Before I get the next blood pressure, once I hear the heart rate is slowing down, I know that I, I was able to stimulate the bar receptors and that's my blood pressure correcting. Um, and uh, 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 one of the things that makes pharmaco pharmacology sahla fi takhassus takhdir and you get to see exactly what's happening. Yani our knowledge is not just limited to uh, memorizing stuff. La, lama, you inject a person with phenylephrine and you see the effect, خلاص, it sticks to your memory. You know exactly what's going to go and you know exactly what to expect. تأثير الدواء قدام عيني و I know exactly what to expect خلاص يعني تصير سهلة الإكويشن هذه ممكن تمشي في الطريق الثاني لو بدأت بالمريض عنده blood pressure of 122 over 63 وال heart rate حقه 60 و his medical background requires him to have lower blood pressure I can provide the patient with nitroglycerin nitroglycerin is going to induce vasodilation the blood pressure is going to go down to 106 over 71 vasodilation, they get reflux tachycardia, so their heart rate is going to jump to uh, uh, 93. You get to see exactly what's the effect of your medication um, in, 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 in real time. 
عشان كذا احب افكر في التقدير على انه زي الكاراتيه يو نيد تو نو ذا نوليدج يو نيد تو جين ذا سكيلز اند يو نيد تو براكتس تبدا از ا جونيور كيسز سهله uh, اغلب البيشنتس ذي ار هيلثي ولا ذي هاف مينيمال نمبر اوف كرونيك النسز شويه شويه يو از يو جرو ان ذا بروجرام يو جيت تو سي مور complex cases and up to the degree that you uh, become a professional knowing exactly what to do and when to do and why would you choose this uh, drug versus uh, the other one. So um, about anesthesia training in Canada, I'm trying to keep my eye on the, the timing here. I don't want to um, uh, run out of time. Um, it's a five years uh, training uh, in uh, Canada. Um, من 2017 و, uh, or starting from 2017 تخصص التخدير في كندا they switched from their uh, usual um, uh, PGY 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 um, uh, uh, design for training to a new design that they called competency competency by design competency by design يدوروا على موضوع التمكن And you need to be competent to pass one level to another level. The way that they do it, they've divided all the topics and, and discussions and procedures uh, that they think any anesthesia uh, trainee should master before they graduate. You have um, objects that you need to, ma- to, to meet. These objects, you need to read about them, discuss them with the consultant. In the end of the day, the consultant will say, for example, I want to talk about um, epidurals. So we talk about the anatomy of the uh, epidural space, uh, the procedure, indication, contraindication, and how to troubleshoot it. Um, and they give you a mark uh, based on your discussion, and you need to be competent on that discussion. In another day, you say, okay, I want to do an epidural. So they um, uh, observe you doing an epidural, and some of them, they might require you to do more than one uh, procedure. I mean, so we'll epidural three times from uh, three different uh, consultants to get the, the competency requirement. I um, started on PGY1 to PGY5. I started from 2017. Um, uh, the anesthesia started the competency by design. I think now 2020, uh, تخصصات كندا حولت على كومبتنسي باي ديزاين. اور اسسمنتس وي دو اي كي تي اكزامز اللي هو انستيجيا نوليدج تيست اكزام وي دو ون ات 6 مانث اوف تريننج ون ات 12 مانث اند ون ات 24 وي دو انيوال اورال اكزامز سنويا نسوي اربع الى خمس حالات اورال اكزامز وي دو ان انيوال ريتن اكزام ولا واحد منهم ريكوايرد انه يو جراديويت فروم ون level to another. It's not like a promotion exam for uh, Saudi. You need to keep in mind that if you, uh, uh, a trainee is struggling in one component and they feel that they need more time to uh, be competent in that um, subject, which is okay. You uh, say, okay, you're not going to level after that. We're تعيد معانا ثلاثة شهور ستة شهور إلى ما تصير competent في النقطة الفلانية صح إنه we don't have promotion exam بس إنه في نفس الوقت um, looking at overall assessments they can know if a person needs to uh, get some support here or there and it's okay within the training program you get daily evaluations uh, يوميا تشتغل مع consultant و, um, they get to um, go over a topic with you Uh, or talk about something that uh, you have re- uh, read about. Okay, these are the good things that you did. Uh, these are the things that we would like you to read about. And they fill the evaluation and get sent to uh, the program director. In the last years, they started to open manhaj اختبارات. They call it CANASC, Canadian National Anesthesiology. Uh, simulation curriculum. He uh, has simulation uh, for emergencies and crisis that happens uh, during the, the operation. Will Motoka Tedam Menesanahadi, no, uh, Mindful 
ريزيدنت للرويال كوليدج اكزام الا بعد ما ينجح في الخمسه سيميليشن تيست الخمسه سيميليشن تيست they divide them over uh, two or three years so you can do one in one year and two in another year or vice versa uh, but the expectation that you won't uh, be eligible to write your royal college exam until you 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 pass all five uh, simulation uh, exams and then we sit down to do our royal college uh, exam which is uh, on, on multiple days uh, one day you do mcqs and then come back to the on the next day and do short uh, short answers and then uh, after a couple of weeks they book the oral examination and after that you get the, the frcpc fellow of royal college uh, of physicians of canada well, this is our uh, board certification <sighs> why canada the uh, workload in canada will exposure is a little different from other countries the health system in canada from the first canada to the end canada is free from the state we have no private hospitals so if there's a patient out there they are going to come to a private hospital one way or another ولانه uh, they're going to come to a, a government paid hospital one way or another ولانه مدفوعه من الدوله فما في مستشفيات كثير uh, الدوله uh, 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 مقننه uh, وين تفتح مستشفياتها في, في الغالب يكون عليها لود اكثر من المعتاد لانه ما في مستشفيات كثير uh, our daily work is a little bit long compared to other specialties uh, نبدا الساعه 6:30 الصباح وننتهي الساعة 4 بس within that time uh, there's a lot of uh, stuff going on around uh, ابدا مو ممل من 6 ونص شوية تصير الساعة 4 ويمر عليك الوقت uh, uh, بسلاسة uh, لمجرد انه you're doing a lot of stuff at that time uh, اغلب ال hospitals they don't have 24 hour calls most of them if you're on call you're gonna come from 4 pm to 8 am استثناء بعض المستشفيات الصغيرة اللي نروح نسوي فيها بعض الالكتيفز لان هم عارفين ان غرف العمليات عندهم ما عليها ضغط فيخلوك تجلس 24 ساعة. And one reason that we do for اللي هو الانكول من 4 المساء الى الساعة 8 الصباح لانه اغلب المستشفيات there is something going on. Uh, almost 95% of the time you come at 4 pm and there is a room running. Uh, there is uh, one or two cases to be done overnight. كثير من المستشفيات ما نشوف غرفة الانكول يمكن مرة ولا مرتين في the whole rotation. نكون موجودين في مثلا مستشفى ستة شهور. Every call we come, نبدأ غرفة العمليات ويجي اليوم الثاني الصباح إحنا لسه غرفة العمليات لأنه the workload عندهم شوية مرتفع. Um, there's always daily teaching, في uh, um, lectures, وبعض uh, الأحيان يكون oral case scenarios, uh, and uh, you're always booked one to one with a consultant. ما عندنا كثير uh, anesthesia assistants موجودين يساعدوا غرف العمليات كلها، فما ما في anesthesia assistant uh, مخصص لكل غرفة عمليات. إذا في أحد مخصص لغرفة العمليات هو أنت كرزيدنت والconsultant معك. Uh, نادرا يحطوا two residents together في الغالب يحطوا two residents اذا واحد منهم جونيور ولسه بادي في المستشفى يحطوا مع واحد شويه سينيور عشان they get the orientation بس انه في الغالب يكون uh, you as a resident ومعك consultant. If you have every day uh, work with uh, a consultant and every day there's a chance that you can get some kind of teaching during uh, the operation. Uh, وما يخلوك كثير لوحدك في اول سنه سنتين آه بعد ما توصل سنه ثالثه آه تقريبا شوي شوي يبداوا آه يخلوك تشتغل وحدك شوي شوي على رابعه خامسه they expect you to run the whole show and you call if you need help and help is always available um, we have half day uh, weekly half days and a lot of simulation and for sure um, north america is, is famous for Uh, having research, so the research opportunity is there for whoever is interested. Um, a, a Royal College, when they designed the Royal College uh, program, فكروا إنه أنا إيش أبغى من ال ال خريج ال Royal College programs. They want the ال خريج يكون professional في تعامله مع المرضى, professional في تعامله مع 
zumalaa fi al amal ma nurses they want uh, the, the the graduate to be a good communicator معناته انه يقدر يتخاطب مع المريض يقدر يتخاطب مع الجراح يوصل له اذا كان I'm concerned about this ولا انا افكر في this thing they they need to establish good communication skills collaborator معناته متعاون انه يقدر يشتغل مع الفريق الجراحي بدون ما يسوي كثير من القلق leader اللي هو قائد بعض الحالات انه يكون الجراح مشغول مثلا بليدنج وقتها المفروض ان طبيب التخدير شوي يطلع من موضوع انه انا فقط مجرد طبيب تخدير وابدا افكر انه اوكي انا كيف اساعد الجراح ابدا انادي ممرضين يجوا يساعدونا انت روح جيب بلود فروم ذا بلود بانك انذر وان دو يو نيد مي تو كول انذر سيرجن فور يو فهذه ليدر يعني مميزات قياديه وقت غرفه العمليات هم يتوقعوها منك لما تصير سينيور هيلث ادفوكيت معناته انه تسعى في مصلحه المريض الطبيه انه لنفرض انه كانوا محجوزين على جراحه اليوم الواحد ان يو فيل ذات they should be admitted you work to get them admitted just for uh, their own health uh, conditions and at the same time you need to be a scholar معناته ملم بالابحاث وبالتطورات الطبيه فهذه مسمينها um, في كندا اللي هو كان ميدز and these are the roles uh, or the standards اللي حطتها الرويال كوليدج for each graduate ما يتخرج من التريننج الا uh, he has these uh, um, standards uh, uh, well established um, في اغلب في كل مقاطعات كندا uh, there is a, a resident association عندنا في اونتاريو اسمها بيرو uh, منظمه تهتم بشؤون الريزيدنت بحيث انه المستشفى ما يظلمهم في الاون كولز في الورك لود اذا حسيت انه هم حاطين قوانين انه الريزيدنت يكون عدد كذا من الايام اون كول اذا شفت انه صار عليك ضغط اكثر من المتوقع يحق لك انه تكلم البيرو اند ذي ويل ورك اند ذي ويل فيكس ات فور يو فالريزيدنت محميين في ديورنج ذا تريننج بمساعده بيرو Um, a day in my life, our life, عيني في الساعة. We're almost like 40 minutes into the lecture. Um, uh, نبدأ بدري ساعة ستة ونص. We prepare our operating room, get your medications ready and tubes and lines because you've already read about your patient the night before. Uh, جاي ساعة ستة ونص. You know exactly what what you want to set up for the patient. ساعة سبعة. Uh, we have our morning teaching and ruh najlis muhadara or uh, oral case presentation من 7 إلى 7 ونص 7 ونص ننزل نشوف مرضانا الاكسبكتيشن ان within 10 to 15 minutes لانه already you read about them you assess the patient and go over the anesthesia plan excuse me and then المتوقع انه المريض يكون في غرفة العمليات الساعة 8 تبدا التخدير وتبدا العملية الجراحية during the day You get a lot of coffee breaks, lunch breaks. وقت تبغى تطلع تصلي بعض المستشفيات كنا نقدر نصلي فيها صلاة الجمعة. صرت أطلب من الشري اللي أنا شغال معاهم إنه يليت إنه أخذ البريك حقي اللي هو lunch break الساعة 12 خمسة وأربعين دقيقة كانوا يجوا يسألوني ليش 12 خمسة وأربعين دقيقة يعني الأكل يكون ألذ قلت لهم لا والله مو الأكل ألذ بس إنه أقدر أصلي صلاة الجمعة. ف they are more than happy to accommodate uh, uh, if there's any specific request here and there. Um, آخر عملية المفروض أنه تخلص الساعة 4 ممكن تخلص بعض الأيام أقل بعض الأيام uh, متأخرة شوي ف the most the average أنه نخلص الساعة 4 uh, بعدها تروح تجلس uh, you look up your, your cases for next day إذا هم inpatient موجودين في المستشفى تروح تشوفهم إذا هم outpatient you go over the medical record and uh, read about them and plan your uh, uh, plan for tomorrow and then you're free الابلكيشن سهل في كندا مقارنه بامريكا اول ابلكيشنز جو ثرو ذا كلتشر بيرو في في اوتاوا هم حاطين ديدلاين جولاي 1 فور اول بروجرامز مع انه البروجرامات في كندا عندهم تواريخ مختلفه للديدلاين بس عشان يسهلوها للكل حطوا الديدلاين جولاي 1 فور اول بروجرامز اللي تجي عن طريق الملحقيه وهم بعدين يتواصلوا مع البروجرامات يرسلوا بالنيابه عنك الابلكيشن تو ذا هوسبيتالز يو نيد تو هاف يور ام سي سي كيو اي 1 ريدي يو نيد تو هاف ايلتس سم ترينينجز دي ريكواير ايلتس سم ذات دي دونت ليتر اوف ريكومنديشن سي في بيرسونال ستيتمنت اند سبونسر 
سي في بيرسون ستيتمنت حطيت تحتها لاين في نقطة مهمة always ask for help ما هي سهلة انه ترتب السي في والبيرسون ستيتمنت they say it needs to be like a story it needs to be yeah I agree it needs to be منسقة على قولة فيصل اليوم بدري انه منمقة بس انه احنا بعض الاحيان صعب انه نتكلم بالعربي فما بالك انه احط الشغلات هذه كلها بالانجليزي ask for help ask for help from other colleagues and they're going to help you and guide you how to get a uh, your your personal statement uh, ready how to increase your chances and acceptance start min jamatak tkallam ma the anesthesia team join the anesthesia team tkallam ma consultant ma residents and get to listen to them بعض الحالات لما تسمعهم كيف يتكلموا ويتناقشوا تبدا تفكر زي طبيب التخدير لانه احنا نفكر بطريقه مختلفه عن الجراح ومختلفه عن طبيب الباطنه Uh, plan for your electives if you can come to Canada or USA, that would be great. موضوعها مرة سهل تتواصل مع الجامعة وجامعتك تتواصل مع الجامعة في كندا أو في أمريكا و they can arrange for you to come. You get the exposure and at the same time you get recommendation letters. The recommendation letter اللي تنكتب من أمريكا و كندا لها وزن مختلف لأنه they, they know how to communicate and participate in research projects if you can attend works, uh, workshops and conferences. USMLEs حاط جنب علامة استفهام it's not required تستهلك وقت سنوات بعض الأحيان الواحد يخلص USMLE بس once you get it في كندا لها وزن لأنه يعرفون إنه USMLE امتحان مو سهل. أوكي كويس إنه قدرت أخلص وأترك شوية وقت لل لل questions I'm sorry حسيت إنه جريت في آخر كم سلايد بس إنه ما حبيت إنه ينتهي الوقت بدون ما نعدي على ال questions. Uh, thank you, Doctor. Uh, we really enjoyed the talk. I think you answered most of our questions. Uh, we do have one question reg regarding applying. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, can I apply for residency program if I do my Canadian exam in 2021, April, May? أغلب البرامج they أو مو أغلب البرامج الملحقية نفسها they will stop the application process if the paperwork is not is not complete. Uh, if you don't have all the requirements, the is not going to proceed because uh, it's required that you have all examinations, all paperwork ready to go before July 1st. Either can a deadline uh, for application after July 1st, for example, because I you were able to um, mentioned to the culture bureau that no matter what the result of the exam you will be able to get out of it after a month and you have time to get out of it for them I think most of the time they will be flexible but because the chances that you can get out of it Corona is coming and the world is coming on us so they will be able to get out of it try your best it's, 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 it's doable that you can do it but it doesn't matter send an email to the employee Uh, if you have an expected date for your results to come, but otherwise they won't send your application. Lanu hatal jama is not going to look into the application that it's not completed. Thank you. Uh, another question is about how competitive anesthesia is in Canada. So anesthesia, uh, as a as a specialty, it is uh, competitive. But the hello feel IMGs and we don't compete with Canadians. We do compete with uh, other mubtaathin. Uh, دول الخليج كلها تبتعث في البرنامج اللي أنا فيه we have trainees from Oman we have trainees from الكويت فمو بس السعوديين اللي يقدموا على ال IMG positions ف we do compete with each other اللي هم المبتعثين من دول الخليج بعض السنوات ما يكون فيه عادات كثيرة للمتقدمين تكون أسهل للواحد إنه يقدم بعض السنوات for whatever reason يكون عدد المتقدمين اللي موجودين لكندا كثير بس overall ك training program within the Canadian community it is a competitive field بس احنا ما ندخل معاهم في matching process we have our own matching system this concludes our session for today I'd like to thank you Dr. Mazin for being with us thank you for all the examples it really helps paint the picture I want to thank everyone that attended, and I do encourage you guys to check out our YouTube channel to watch all of the anesthesia lectures. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.